So we are proud new owners of a Palmino Realite HS 1803 truck camper. And today we are gonna give you a full tour of our camper and some of the modifications we've done to our camper to make it perfect for us. So we're gonna start on the outside here, showing you the truck setup, uh, tie downs, all that stuff. And then we will move into the camper to show you the inside. And before we get started, this is a 2023 model and we just picked it up from the dealer probably two weeks ago. So we just did our first camping trip in it this weekend. And of course we're figuring out a few more things as now we're actually using it um, and I'll kind of just go over all those things here in the tour so let's get started so this is our setup we have a 2015 Chevy Silverado 2500 which is three-quarter ton and our camper is about 1800 pounds and this is the driver my husband Vince <laughs> <laughs> so how's it been handling, hon? It's always good. It, it hardly feels like it's back there. Yeah, it feels really good on the truck. So when we bought the truck, it all was pretty, you know, the standard suspension and whatnot. But we did some upgrades in here. These are Bilston 4600 shocks. So we did add new shocks all around to the truck. They've really made the handling nice. Yeah, night and day different. And we put in Timberin bump stops to replace the original bump stops that didn't really do anything. And then for the tie down system, we had our dealer install all this for us. So we went with the torque lift tie downs and basically that's what these are. So they're nice and easy to unlock and lock. Um, we did put a lock system on this that is key so no one can like come over and steal our camper if they want. And then these bottom torque lifts are bolted onto the frame underneath of our truck. And then yeah, this basically ties down our camper and these are spring loaded so when we're going over bumps and stuff it, there is a little nice wiggle room in there because you don't want the camper to be super tight and super locked down where there's no wiggle room so these are nice because they have that little bit of suspension in them and so just a heads up they will probably land um right over your gas cover so for this front one we don't lock we just have a pin in it and then vince takes the pin out when you need to fill up the gas and these come out real slick just like that and then he can gas up the truck they just put it on the bottom and then you clip it up here push it back down in place and then he just puts the pin in. But again, on the back, we have these locks that we got on Amazon and it has a key. So these are all keyed locked in the back here. And then the truck camper has the Happy Jack lift system on it. So that is basically what these are right here. This holds um, your camper when you wanna take it off and on. So we have a remote right here. There's a bunch of buttons that bring those legs up and down. So right now, that thing's going down. And I'll be honest, loading and unloading it was like the scariest part for me, but it's really not that bad. Our truck has a six and a half foot bed with the tailgate closed. And then of course it's a little bit longer after we open the tailgate. And the floor length of the camper is seven feet two inches. So you can see with our tailgate down, we have a nice just couple inches here, which is awesome. We don't have any overhang in the back, which was important to us. So we love how this literally fits right in the back of our truck and it's really easy to park too. So on the driver side of the truck, we have our hot water heater system. So that's just an on off switch, which works great. We've tested it out. It's been wonderful. 123 <laughs> degree water. Yeah, isn't that it's crazy? <laughs> 123 degree water, wow. We got fresh water connection right here where you just put the hose up and you can fill your tanks, fresh water. This is if you wanna connect to city water. Um, so that's that hookup. And this is the drain for the sink inside. Normally you can um, hook a hose to this and then it will drain out instead of draining, you know, down the side of your truck, which as you can see, a few <laughs> splatters, we had a little bit of that. And next up are just some outlets right here. This is 
storage. You can have storage from the outside or the inside, and we're actually using this compartment for storage on the inside. We're not using it for the outside. So I'll show you that when we get inside. And right here is our outdoor shower. We do have a shower inside, but we also have an outdoor shower, which has been really nice if we've wanted to like rinse off shoes or something. Uh, yeah, that's handy. And then these are- Coax. Yeah, coax for cable <laughs> and satellite, which we have not used because we probably, probably will never won't. use. Yeah, <laughs> that's not our plan. And then this is our power hookup. So if we were at a campsite or something where we could connect to power, you just plug it in there. And we have tested this from our house. We plugged in with our house to make sure everything was working, our air conditioner and everything, and it was working great. And in the back here is our gray and black water system. So you open this guy and that's your valves for the gray water and the black water. And this is the sewer outlet right here. This whole system has worked great. We've done it once and we think we did it right. And then on the passenger side is where our propane tank is. We have a full 15 gallon LP tank right here. And this is to get to the back of the fridge if we had to get into the back of the fridge for any reason. These just open up here and we can get in there. And our fridge can be ran on electricity or propane. So nice system. We've been using it on propane a lot and it's been working great. And we have an awning right here that extends out. And we have used the awning already and it was fantastic. It was raining and we figured, hey, let's sit under our awning. And before we go inside, I'm going to show you our garage because this is basically where we put all our storage for our bigger items and stuff and it's been awesome so our chevy is a crew cab which is the bigger back seat and it's awesome because there's a lot of room back there to put stuff so basically the back seat this holds all our like camping chairs we have like a grill camping table all the camping gear so the camber did not come with stairs that is something we had to purchase on our own and we got this set of stairs from e-trailer however i think we're going to return these ones and get the four step i did measure this and i thought the three step was going to be okay but they're kind of short and they're like angled you can kind of see that so we've been having to put like blocks on it to kind of straighten them out so yeah i think i think we might return these for the uh the four step instead of the three step so just keep that in mind um, when you're shopping for stairs etrailer.com has all the camping stairs you can think of so definitely check them out and by the way i will link everything i talk about down in the description so as we get inside and we're talking about things um you can check the description if there's something that interests you i guess one thing i did forget to mention is we do have the badland package on our palomino camper here so we have roof racks included up there which is pretty awesome we have nothing up there yet i think it'd be cool to put kayaks up there but <laughs> we have no idea how we're going to get them up there safely without you know dropping it on ourselves <laughs> but that's included with the badlands we have a solar panel and then our door also has a screen door as you can see here which is so nice if you want fresh air and you can't see in as well too kind of like we're parked on the side of lake granby in colorado and this was nice to shut the screen door well number one it's nice to not let the flies in but number two people coming past they can't see in because of the screen door so it's nice to get fresh air and have some privacy so let's go inside all right and this is the inside of ours and if you looked at these models something looked a little different to you because you probably would have noticed that there was a jackknife sofa in this model which that's how they come they come with a sofa so this is where the sofa was and it did come with a table this is not the table we made a whole new table the couch is literally just bolted on with like two screws so took those out Went to Joan Fabric and got six inch memory foam here, cut to length. And then I bought some upholstery fabric. And then I basically sewed a slip cover for the bench. So this was the table stand that I originally came with and we just reused it. And then we went to Lowe's, we got some of this wood, cut a table down, rounded the corners. It's all connected under here. We put a bar across the back and an L bracket, so it's secured here. But we can easily take this down if we needed to, but we pretty much built this, so it would be pretty much like a permanent setup because we don't really need to take this down for any reason. And then for the back here, I just went to Target and found these really pretty big pillows, and that's like our cushion backrest, and it's a perfect setup. We both can sit here. Now, just note, 
as you can see you can't really swing your legs in like a normal table so when you're sitting at the table your legs are kind of on the side basically sitting on this little carpet ledge but it works fine it works great and with most rvs and campers you get all those balances that look very camper like like these these aren't actually that bad um, i'm actually going to keep this one probably over here by the kitchen window but i did replace this over here with just some curtains i made myself i just thought it was cuter and didn't have this huge balance all across and then i was able to string some of these little lights um, around and it's really just a cozy little setup over here. I do use these little guys to keep them back because the curtains tend to want to like you know only stay here <laughs> so I want to push back. I want all the light coming in. Um, so yeah those have been awesome to just clip up here and keep the curtains back. And finding rugs for in here is a little bit challenge because it is you know narrow. So guess what I found at Walmart? a placemat and this is perfect so look at the placemats if you're looking for small little tiny so here is our shower and toilet bathroom area and everything works really well in here i have used the toilet many many times and i took my first shower last night and that worked really good i felt like everything went really well in here. Um, we have these little dispensers here. So shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Um, we did add this mirror in and then there is a vent up here and a light switch. You just push that button on and off. And there's a skylight in here too. So I can fully stand up in here. I am five, seven and a half and I can fully stand up here um, in this shower. So down there is the drain. This is our toilet. So yeah, it's like your standard toilet. And this is where we keep our trash can. So I found this tiny little trash can at Walmart and it's perfect. I can slide it right between the wall and the toilet right here. And it sits nice and snug, doesn't move around and it's been excellent. Um, and here is a storage. So I have toilet paper, all our toilet essentials, straightener, washcloths are in here. So that's a nice little waterproof area. Two thumbs up to the shower toilet system in here. This is awesome. So right above our little dining area is storage. And basically we have like paper towels and like saran wrap and all that stuff back there. This bin, basically we I got this bin so we can easily take this in and out to like bring in our house and load up with all the things we need. So yeah, we have like coffee, some chocolates, nuts, peaches, <laughs> everything in there. We just close this and it goes right back up here. Perfect fit. And then this is like our little junk drawer, just a little bins I bought at Walmart. It has like a flashlight, some clips, just, you know, pens, all that stuff. And then on this side, we have this kettle that we use to warm up water for coffee, a box of Kleenex, and this is where we put our bath towels. So usually I have about four of them right here from top to bottom, but we've been camping this weekend and using our towels. So I just gotta get them all washed and restocked. I forgot, there is a speaker radio system in here. So there's a speaker down here and down here. And this is our radio that we can connect to our phone for Bluetooth to use our own music. Let's talk about the kitchen. We've been using the kitchen all weekend and it's been wonderful. Now, we did add this um, stick-on subway tile backsplash. I just kind of added it more for looks because I thought it was cute. <laughs> and then um, we have a nice little sink down here. I think it's, yeah, there's a little water in there right now. But um, yeah, we got the sink. The faucet works great, um, so that's all been working well. Nice window right here with beautiful views, of course. And this little window has a blind, and it's been nice if we're cooking and we want to vent. This is a good little window to open up here by the stove. Up above is storage, so this is where we have like cups, plates, bowls, uh, washcloths, towels, all those things for the kitchen. This is storage, so we have like olive oil, seasoning, salt and pepper, all that good stuff in here. This comes with a two burner gas stove, which has been working fine. The only thing we are going to look at upgrading on this are these 
racks or if they don't upgrade we might upgrade the stove only because when we've been cooking in here these are slippery and so we want something where like if we're on a hill and we're cooking our pans aren't going to slide off because that's not really safe <laughs> so we are going to look at maybe upgrading this we'll see um it'd be nice if we could just upgrade these these things but i don't know if that's an option but overall the stove worked really really good and right below the stove is our other storage. So remember when I was touring the outside with you and I said there's storage from the outside and inside? We're using it as inside storage. That's the door for the outside. So um, we decided we wanted to use it for inside. So we have silverware, pots, pans, cutting board, coffee, French press, all that good stuff. And right next to it is our heater. Um, and it works awesome. We've been using it in the mountains. It's been chilly at night. And yeah, we have a little thermostat. We just push this up when we want to use it and push it down when we want to turn it off. This is the control panel for showing us like our fresh tank, our black water, gray water, how full they are, um, and our battery. We have solar and we have never had our battery like under 100% because it just is always charging. And it also charges when we are driving. So our chuck charges the system as well which is awesome so battery has not been an issue um fresh water tank so if i push this see it's low we are low on water and that's our black tank this is our gray tank so that's the levels um water pump this is for the lights we do have a porch light that is motion activated so at night we do turn this on and if anything comes around this light right back here under is going to turn on with any activity. This is how we bring our awning in and out. So that's all worked well. And this is like the gauge of the hot water that's coming in and out. And right above the stove too, we do have this fan and light that works great. And we do have a microwave. We have not used the microwave yet. One thing we are going to invest in is a generator. So we're going to do some research on that. I'm leaving that up to Vince to decide what kind of generator he wants. We did plug in at our house to try out the air conditioner and it works awesome. It cooled down really well. You have to have a generator or a plug-in system to run those. But we do have USB ports all over. And these run off batteries, so we can charge phones and stuff without having to use plugs. Down here is our solar charger control station. We've been charging all day, all the time. Everything is always charged with our solar. Then under here is the battery system and our fresh water tank and all that stuff is down here. We only have one battery, but we have a holder for another battery. But like I said, we've not needed to add an extra battery because everything just stays 100% um, over the last two days. So that's been nice. And we have a fridge. So this is a Dometic fridge. And as I mentioned earlier, it can run when plugged in or on propane. So when we're doing a lot of dispersed camping, um, we're not plugged in. So we just run it on propane. And a lot of people say they can run their fridge up to three weeks on propane. So here's the fridge. We've already ate most of our food for the weekend. We're heading home here. <laughs> Great storage in here. It's super, super cold. And the freezer, we've been having ice cubes up here and they are froze like a rock moving right along to the bed it is just under a king in this model which is awesome because we are used to a king bed <laughs> so yeah it's right between a king and queen i did end up having to buy king sheets for it um but the comforter is a queen so um yeah that's what i ended up doing here there's a window on this side that you can open and there's a window up in the front that's stationary that you can't open um but you can open the blind though it's really pretty at night um, I watched the sunrise one morning from up there and we saw stars one night too so that was great up above we have a nice vent and fan that turns on so if you need some airflow going on and there's the speakers up there on each side with the radio system right behind like the pillows but like to the side there's more USB ports so we can charge our phones on each side like they're on both sides. This is all storage. So this is where we pack all our clothes. We put like slippers, extra blankets. That's nice, nice storage down there. You're probably like, what's going on with this? <laughs> this is actually the area where you can put a flat screen TV in, but we don't plan on having a TV in here. So behind this picture is outlets, satellite cable, 
all those things, plugs for all of that. And so if you want to put a TV in here, you can, but I wanted to cover all that up. So I found this pretty mountain picture with this frame that actually fit. I just put it in there with like sticky Velcro stuff and it hasn't moved an inch. So <laughs> it's a nice way to cover up all those ports and plugs and all the things when I'm not planning on using them. And then the floor is like a vinyl, I'm assuming it is, but it's really nice. Um, it cleans up really easy. Um, so far, so good with the flooring. There's another like storage cubby over here and lots of command hooks. We love in the command hooks command tape it's been great so that is a tour of our truck camper so far so good we absolutely love this this was the best alternative for us because we like to go off-road and go dispersed camping and having the truck which is four by four we can get around all those forest roads and everything really really well and we basically have our little home right in the back of our truck where we can park like normal go places like normal we don't have to worry about trailers or anything like it is so easy to navigate with this thing, driving with. We've gotten up to like 75 miles per hour with the truck on this and you can't feel it on the back of this truck. But I hope this helps you make your decision in a Palomino truck camper from someone who's actually using it and is not a dealer. I remember when we were looking for YouTube videos um, about the camper, it was all from dealerships and I just, I like seeing dealership videos, but I also like to see reviews from people who are actually using it and camping in it and that kind of process and I couldn't find anything so I don't know I might be the first one out there for this truck camper. We'll be doing lots of camping in Colorado because that's where we live and our first big road trip will be around Arizona in November and we can't wait to literally live out of the camper for an entire week so I can't wait to hit the road and go explore with our Palomino truck camper. If you have any questions let me know down in the comments. All right bye guys.